Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Two Phones for Free, back again with another informative video. You know, I want to give a shout out to Aloha Android for, um, you know, let, let his viewers know um, that I'm an advocate of this Google Fi stuff and <laughs> that we, uh, you know what I'm saying, that, that I, I try to educate y'all on the service and how it works and things like that. Also, let you know other applications that can help you um, understand Google Fi and you know, uh, ways to, you know, to, to beat the bush with the the whole, you know, low data usage and all that stuff like that, especially you're not around Wi-Fi, anything like that. But um, outside of that, I got a few more applications I want to share with you all that will help you, especially if people on Samsung phones and Motorola phones don't think that, you know, Google Fi is actually working for them. And it's, it's just strictly for Google Pixels and Nexus phones. That's wrong, okay? They even had LG phones at one point working on Google Fi, all right? But these applications, I'm just going to tell you the apps and if they're free or do you have to buy them, whatever like that, I'll let you know. So, no further ado, let me go to my tool list. I'm going to go swipe, open the tools. Okay, so the one at the bottom that says Fowler, that's actually a Signal Spy application. It's another companion app for Signal Spy. Uh, which I think, oh, I didn't have it in here. Okay, but I need to add that to the tools app. But uh, Fowler, uh, this application lets you know exactly what network you're on. I'm currently on the T-Mobile network. Ooh, not surprising, right? But it also gives you codes for Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and three if you're traveling abroad, let's say to United Kingdom. All right, so that's why that's showing up. But if you go to support, all right, support. All right, so this is where you're gonna find all the other integrations uh, and applications and services that will help you with your Google Fi services alongside with Signal Spy and Fowler. So the first app is called Tasker. The next app is called Automate. Signal Spy is that app and um, Fi Switch. Okay, so these are four other applications I would recommend, and I do recommend, for anybody on Google Fi and on phones that's designed for Fi, you have to get these right from the Google Fi website. I will leave a link in the description box so you go order you a phone, try to see them or whatever. But I guarantee you, you can't get mad at me for you buying a SIM card and not buying the phone from Fi, okay? So that's going to be a major difference. I'll do a separate video about how to buy the SIM cards or how to get it for free. But if you want to buy the SIM card, you, you don't have full $500 to, to splurge on a Google Fi phone, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to bash you, thrash you about that, all right? But I'm just letting people know that there are other applications to help you with the Google Fi services. It's Tasker, Automate, Signal Spy, and Fi Switch. And, of course, this application I'm in right now, uh, Filer. All right, there's also a secondary app. It's called, um, wait, let me let me go through. Okay, it's called, uh, let me find. It's, it's, it's Filer, uh, parentheses, Signal Spy Edition. So this app will work, but again, you gotta give it certain permissions, which I always talk about on my YouTube channel. If you, if these, if you say the app don't work, it's because you're denying the permission for the app to get access to your phone. So if you're about worrying about privacy, it's not gonna work, okay? But if you want the phone to work and you want the application to work, you got to allow it to get permission. That's just the way it is. It's either you do or you don't. There ain't no in-betweens. But, so it says, set filer signal spy edition as your default uh, phone app, file the current, uh, current default, uh, five dollars six spot phone text now. Y'all already know how I feel about text now. It's boss for free. If you don't want to spend money, get text now. If you want to spend a little money, get Google Fi because you have all the networks, whether you're roaming or not. You have all the networks ATT, Verizon, uh, Sprint, T Mobile, US Cellular. You have all the carriers. No pun intended. This is all facts. So go back to my. Um, how to set up uh, data roaming. I have that on my YouTube channel. And also, I have um, 
uh, the, the Samsung Galaxy phones do work 100% uh, with Google Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. I'm just showing you the setup. You got dollar codes. Okay, showing you the breakdown, dollar code, the debug, the PRLs. This is the preferred roaming list. You check in your SIM switch, you got eSIM or regular SIM, Fire Roam. The Fire Roam code will allow you to turn on international roaming to use your phone outside of the United States. That's what Fire Roaming is, but it's already included with data roaming. I got a video about how to set up data roaming. Please watch that video all the way to the end. All right, so. Here we are. Here we are. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, like I said, this is the regular follow app. I'm gonna go to uh I mean a Sigma Spy app, but I'm gonna go to follower, go to support. So these are the other apps I recommend you download right now. Let me go to the Google Play Store. Let's do that real fast. Go to Google Play. Okay. We're gonna go to tab. Okay, file switch. That was one of the apps. Okay, this is 100 percent for free. I'm not paying for it. Oh, I need to join beta. Let me join beta. Okay. Join beta for the fire switch. I, I definitely recommend joining the beta because it seems like they like most of these devs, they update the betas more than they update any other applications. Now, this is a application that will help you with fire switch. Um, it's not recommended. It's not recommended, but it is available. If you feel like the other applications aren't usable or useful to you there are other options out there on the google play store for google fi um network all right so there you have it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below